Hello YouTube! Um, this is going to be my sockbone video, like I said in my previous video, um, that I was going to have out for you shortly. Um, don't mind this, it's a scratch that I got from work, I just realized it actually shows up. But anyway, when you do your sock bun, you are going to start with your hair soaking wet and you're going to brush it back into a low ponytail like I have already done. Um, when you do that, you're going to want to brush it out nice and smooth with a brush like this. And then if you have wicked curly hair like I do, um, I suggest brushing it nice and smooth, putting some spray gel on it, putting some normal gel on it, and then using this. It's a natural hair bristles brush. It is the hair, or the brush that African American women are supposed to use. It works really well for smoothing stuff out. So, we're going to do a little demonstration. I'm not going to rebrush my hair because I don't want to mess it up. So, you'd put spray gel on. You'd brush your hair out nice and smooth. Brush it out. Get away all the flyaways. Nice and slick down. And I just screwed that up. Oops. Oh, well. I'm not going anywhere tonight. And then you're going to use this stuff. You can put it on your hands. Lather it up. And smooth it nice and out. Nice and pretty like. So. After that. And after you have this pro uh, lovely project. You're going to want to keep your hair. Yeah, where's my mirror? You're going to want to put your hair at the base of your neck so that when you put it in a bun, it is not going to touch the bottom of the top of your collar or interfere with how you wear your cover. I don't have a cover, so I can't tell you how that's going to be, um, nor have I been in basics, so I'm doing this off of what I know, and this is also the only hairstyle that I can do, so I've gotten really good at it because I do it for like everything. Uh, but you're gonna take your mesh bun, which is this. You can stick so many things in it, or as many hairpins as you want. See, this is what's nice about mesh buns. You can shove as many of these in your thing. Um, you can take it and you're gonna put it, your ponytail, over like so. Voila. So it looks like you got a nice little donut on your head. And then I can't do this part upside down. You're going to take your hair and fan it out over the bun. Where's my hair tie? You can take another hair tie and put it over the bun. And then you're going to wrap your ends, well, alright, let's go back. So, you have the, you've taken the mesh bun, put it over your ponytail, and you fan out your hair. Fan out your hair, if I can actually do this. And then you would take your gel again. Where's my gel? There's my gel. This stuff. And you're going to put a little bit. Actually, you put some on your hands. Smooth it. And then smooth that out over your head. Now you take your hair tie and put that around your bun. Um, if your hair is long enough wrap your ends around and put some more gel in but my hair is not long enough so I wrap my hair around and I bobby pin or pin as I'm going so you're gonna wrap let's see if I can do this so you guys can see what I'm doing you're going to wrap your ends around and stick it in as you're going I can't really you'll do this by feel you can see it that I'm doing it that way. Um, my hair is not long enough to do how do it the way that Aim High Erin did, um, and she wrapped like 
twisted off her ends all together and then wrapped it around her bun. But she put gel in her ends too. But my hair's not long enough to do it that way. So you do. You're gonna want enough in there to hold it throughout the day. My suggestion is get extras of these pins. Actually, you're gonna need extras anyway. But get the nice thick ones, not the flimsy little ones that come in the kit because they suck and they bend so easily. Oh, see I got a loose section right here where my finger is. I'm gonna put another one in. And that is how you do a sock bun. That's how it should look. Um, after that's all done, you would make sure you have no flyaways. I put a shit ton of product in my hair so I don't have flyaways right now. But if I did, I would bobby pin them. Um, for those of you who don't know the difference, this is a bobby pin. It's not open nice and wide. You can grab small chunks of hair. This is a hairpin. This is what I was using to put into the mesh bun. It grabs big chunks of hair. It works really well. After that's all done, I'd put more spray gel in. More spray gel in. And then I would put hairspray in. Um, the stuff that I use that works really well for curly hair, or at least it does for me, oh, I do have a loose end right there, um, is the herbal essence. I use... For gel, I use the Curl Scrunching Gel Hold 3, the Set Me Up Spray Gel Hold 3, and the Beautiful Bold Hold Hairspray Hold 4. That is how you do it. Um, and mine is to AFI standards. Um, your hair color, your hair accessories need to be the same color as your hair. So if you have blonde hair, do not do it with a brown bun, which is what I did. Um, I have red hair. I can't find red hair products anywhere, so I use brown because my hair looks brown when it's wet. But this is you can't really see that. This is what it should look like. Nice and smooth. Um, and that is how your hair is going to be when you're in basic. It, no matter how, or actually if I do bend my head back, it touches the bottom of my collar. But when I am standing at the position of attention, it does not touch the bottom of my collar. It's low enough that I can't actually manage flyaways right here, which is fantastic. And it won't interfere with how I wear my cover. And that's how you do a sock bun.